Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is. Jesus Christ. My King. What a beautiful name. Nothing compares to this. Nothing. What a beautiful name. name it is. The name of Jesus. Jesus. Come on, brothers and sisters. Let's worship him. He didn't want, he didn't want it without us, brothers and sisters. So what did he do? He brought heaven down to us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Our sin was great, but his love was greater. What can separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ is him. What a wonderful name it is. Wonderful. Nothing can nice is this. Nothing. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. And who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, like a root out of the dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering and familiar with pain. And like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised. And we held him in low self-esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by the wounds, by his wounds, we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each and every one of us has turned our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to slaughter. As a, and as a sheep before its shearers, he was silent and did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people, he was punished. He was assigned the grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and to cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand after he has suffered. He will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many. Therefore, hallelujah, and he will bear their iniquities. And therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, says the Lord, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Made intercession. 
to you and me. Nothing can stand against. And the power of the name is the name of Jesus. Oh, the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. What a powerful name it is. As you may know. Not Glory to God. What a powerful name. Amen. Amen. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. And we dedicate that to the man of sorrows. Amen. Glory to God. Isaiah 53 tells us that it was love that made God send his son to this sinful world to set us free. We learned that it cost him a humanly impossible price. What price? Well, he had to become the man of sorrows so that we could have access to heaven. He had to cast off his godly majesty to make us children of the king. He descended to earth in poverty so that we could be given the richness of forgiveness. He gave his unconditionally love so that we could pass this love on to others. I repeat that. He gave his love unconditionally so that we could pass it on to others. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. He set the perfect example by his life and suffering. Why? So that we could follow him every day of our lives. Yes, he died a shameful death on a brutal cross. Why? So that we may be saved and forgiven, brothers and sisters, and have eternal life. We learn in this passage that we were raised from death triumphantly with Christ Jesus because he was raised triumphantly so that we can become part of his triumphal procession <laughs> through the ages so that we, you and I, can become part of the triumph. Are you triumphant? Praise God. Thank you for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let, let, let's pray. Lord Jesus, man of sorrows, Make us willing to accept the challenges of being your child and to live or die as your faithful witnesses, Lord. Thank you for those who share in your cross. Thank you for allowing us also to share in your crown. Thank you for those that who suffer with you. For those of us who suffer with you, Lord. For us, because we know that we will also continue to live with you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, once again, I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera, and I, I wanted to thank you for, for joining us. I'm very uh, happy. This is Holy Week, and uh, for, for, for Christians, uh, this happens to be one of the most, if not the most important uh, week on the calendar. All of, all of the uh, Christian holidays are, are special, but this one for me anyway is extra special because we see you know, what happens uh, and and why and we see the fulfillment glory to God of the prophecies and we understand and learn that hey death is not the the last stop for us <laughs> we will spend the eternity with Christ Jesus amen let's let's just take this this time to just be grateful and 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 to, to humbly just to say thank you to him during the course of the week and, and every day, every day, especially this time of year. May the Lord watch over each and every one of you and keep you. May he provide you all with what you require. But above all things, may he help you to continue to run your race, keeping your eyes on Christ Jesus and living the life of a Christian. Be blessed. Go in peace. And until next time, I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera. God bless you all.